Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 22621. As you saw a few minutes ago, I also posted a video about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Dev channel, and that means that finally the Dev channel and the Beta channels have parted ways, and the Dev channel is now working on features that will be in a higher version of Windows 11, and now the Beta channel will start polishing the features that already are present here and hopefully soon they will get to the release preview channel and finally to the main release. This build for the better channel is a very small build but it's a build that provides a few changes and a few fixes that will improve the overall experience for Windows Insiders on their devices. First of all, Microsoft announces the ISO download for this build, so you can go into the link that will be in the article down below in the description and scroll down and select the version that you want to download, select the edition. In this case, it will be the latest build for the beta channel, which is 22621. Click on confirm, wait for a bit as they are validating their request, select the product language, for example, it will be English United States, confirm, and then you will be provided with the download the link for the ISO that you can use to download and install your Windows 11 version on any device that you want. As you can see, they provide the 64-bit version. Also, the build watermark at the lower right-hand corner of the desktop is not present in this build for the beta channel, and I think Microsoft will not bring it back for the beta channel, maybe, or maybe they will, but in the final release of Windows 11, that watermark will be gone. So now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. Microsoft updated the underlying speech platform to improve voice activity detection for voice access, live captions, and voice typing, as well as address some issues with how punctuation is recognized. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue leading to insiders seeing errors UX873E6 when copying files from Google Drive, and also they fixed an issue where if you had ever opened the context menu, doing Ctrl Alt plus Delete and canceling would lead to explorer.exe crashing. And they also fixed an issue related to the taskbar. Basically, they fixed an issue that was related to loading the system tray icons in settings, personalization, and taskbar, which could cause settings to crash when opening that page recently. This issue may have also led to some Explorer.exe crashes for impacted insiders. And regarding Windows security, Microsoft fixed an issue which could result in smart app control unexpectedly blocking correctly signed applications. This is basically everything that you can find in this new build for the beta channel. Of course, the biggest highlight is that the dev channel and the beta channel are parting ways finally, and this is good news because we are closing into the release of the Windows 11 22H2 version. You can also check out the article down below for more info regarding known issues and also the link to the official Microsoft blog for this build if you are interested in that. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.